Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is episode 2 of Daily Power BI Challenges. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about enable load option and what can be the consequences when you are going to stop enable load. One of my friend on LinkedIn, he asked me like uh, he has created certain measures and whenever he just uncheck this enable load under the data transformations tab, that means in your power query, then he is not finding the measures that he has created earlier. So he did some merging, some queries and after that he just um, untick this enable load option because he doesn't want to load those data into his Power BI model. So that's this session is all about. In this one, I'm going to discuss like what can be the actual consequences of doing that and when you should do it or when you should not do it. So enough all this talking, let's get started. So now I'm on my Power BI desktop application. Over here, you can see I have no data, no table, nothing else. The fields uh, pane is completely empty. That means I haven't loaded any data yet. So what I can do, I can try the simple data set provided by Microsoft, which is a financial data set. If any of you guys don't know or you ask me many times like, okay, you need my files to work on and where I'm just using the sample data set from the Microsoft. So what you can do, you can open your desktop application, but before that you have to upgrade your Power BI desktop application into December 2020 or later version. And then you will get similar window, which you can see on my screen right now. And there's a couple of options. You have to go on this, try a simple data set. Once you will click on it, you will see this kind of window over there and just need to click on load sample data. Microsoft Power BI has this feature, which enables you to try a sample data set and this is a financial data set it's free of course you don't need to worry about it it's by microsoft so you are fully authorized to use this data set the way you want now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna load this financial data set from here and i'll click on load data button after a couple of seconds you will see that data has been loaded and i can see my table name financials and there are the different fields in my fields view so this is the first step how you can try and utilize or do some of your practices on Power BI desktop application using Microsoft sample data set. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a measure over here, new measure, and it's a very simple and basic measure. If you don't know about how to create a measure or how to write DAX, you can check our DAX Sunday series where we publish lots of different uh, DEX functions, their functionality, how to use them. So you will get an idea what are DEX, why to use them, how to use them, and what are the different functions in DEX. So here I'm going to calculate my total sales, which would be some of my all the sales. So this is it guys, just hit enter. Once you're going to hit enter, you will see on your fields view, a new measure has been created by the name of total sales. So this is the second step that we have to do. Now, the next step is I'm going to go into my transform data and I'll click over here. After clicking this, I'm going to right click on my financial in my query step. Financial is my table and there you will see this enable load option. So what this means, this means that whenever it's checked, that means whenever it's ticked, it's going to load this data into your Power BI data model. And once you will going to uncheck this, it's not going to load this table at all into your Power BI data model. So always remember this thing. You should only uncheck this if you don't need this table into your Power BI data model. If you need it, anyhow whether as some column or something is coming into your power bi data model or you want to utilize that then you should always check it otherwise if you really don't want it there are the cases when we don't need any table into our data model but we just keep it in power query maybe in future we are going to need it then you can keep it so what i'm going to do i'm going to uncheck this just right click and it's going to give you a warning it's saying 
Disabling load will remove the table from the report and any visuals that use its column will be broken. Which means it's going to remove this table from your data model and also any of the measures or any visuals or types that is using this table that will be broken. So if I'll continue over this one, I'll continue. Now you will see this enable load option has been unticked. It's not picked one. That means we are not using it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close and apply. So you will realize that now there is no table in my data model because we have removed it deliberately and by removing that table from the data model we have also removed the measure that we have created on the top of this table so this is the answer for your query nickel Kirk, why it was happening to your data model whenever you were doing this and you were not finding your measures now there is a second case what if i'll go over here again into my transform data tab i'm going to enable the load data let me check it again enable date enable load and now you can see that i have enabled my load great now what we are going to do we are going to close and apply again now let's see we can find our measure or node that we have earlier created so certainly you are not going to find your major because once you disable the load that went away so there was no data there was nothing into my data model power bi data model so that's why it's not there now i'm going to apply the another technique what if i move my measure into some another table so what would happen then because definitely once you are going to disable your data load the table is going to go but i can i can move that measure that I have earlier created into another table and I want to see what would happen in that case. So I'm going to first create a measure. Again total sales which would be sum of sales so now you can see in my field screen again total sales measure has been created and now I'm going to create another uh, table. So for that, what I can do, I'll come on my home tab. And in the home tab, there is an option enter data just to create a dummy table. I'm going to give it a name measure table because I want to keep my ma all measures in a measure table. Load because I don't want to keep any other data into this table it's for my own convenience whenever i'm working on power bi i create so many measures certain people wants to keep all the measures in the respective tables only but guys like me always try to create another table for all the measures so that i can easily search a measure that i'm looking for so now i have to select this measure always remember guys how to move measure from one table to another what you just need to do you have to select your measure then you have to come under the measures tool and in the measures tool on the very first tab you will see measure home table instead of financial table i can select any other table over there you will see in the drop down the other tables would come just select that table measure table and now you will see that measure has been moved into my measure table this is it so now what we have done so far we have created a measure we have moved the measure into another table and our next step would be to disable load again and then we will see what is going to be the effect on this measure by disabling the load of that table but remember this measure completely dependent on that particular financial table only and we are going to disable data load for financial table so i'll come over here again on my home tab and i'll go to my transform data in the transform data again i'm going to disable load so what i can do i can just click again on this enable load option it's going to give me the same warning that my data or visual can be broken whichever is using this table i'll go continue now you can check again we have disabled the data load now close and apply
and now you will see there is a warning so this warning is saying cannot find the table financials so this measure is not going to work at all you can see the measure but it won't work because this measure was taking the financial table as the reference and if the table doesn't exist this measure is not going to work in simple words that field doesn't exist in our data model which this measure was utilizing earlier so guys whenever you are working on this kind of situation where you have to disable load for certain tables or certain data sources then always keep in mind whatever fields it was using earlier so they are not gonna be part of your data model any longer that means they are not now being utilized into your data model and because of that any of the measure that were utilizing those fields from those particular tables which you just uh, disable the load for those tables that's not gonna work any longer so this is the consequence of switching off the enable load option in your power bi queries i hope nikhil this gives you the answer for your queries the two days of your hard work that you are doing and again and again that was not working so i'm sure now you know why it was not working so this is it guys for today but please do let us know if you face any challenge or any problem in power bi we will try our best to provide you the answer ASAP. You can either directly email us your problem or you can mention in the comment section or you can directly connect with me on LinkedIn. And I'm not sure like I can provide you the directly the answer, but definitely on our weekends, we will consider your question and based on that, I can create a video. So that's not going to help you only. It's going to help for others as well. So stay tuned for more videos and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.